sergeant is surveilling the area, thinking about what we have to get done today. He has his list. I'm pretty sure he's going to give me my stepping orders today. He says he wants that stump gone. Hmm. I wonder if that's going to happen. I'm not quite sure. Had a great day yesterday. We drove down to the Kenai Peninsula, Suratna area. Uh, got to meet uh, Sean in Alaska in person. That was really cool. Got to see his uh, little neck of the woods where he hails from for right now. And uh, it's a beautiful area, that's for sure. Drive The drive down there was wonderful. It was uh, relaxing, peaceful. Got to have a good visit with my wife while we were driving. Uh, kind of make a little bit more plans for our future here uh, in the drive. Uh, was, he's Sean in Alaska is a really personable person. You can you can just kind of sit and talk to. Real easy going. Uh, it was really nice to be able to meet him. You know what? Dang it. I did not ask him for his autograph. He's famous, and I didn't ask him for his autograph. What's wrong with me? Maybe next time. You know how it is when you meet a superstar? You get tongue-tied. You don't know exactly what to say. Well, that's how I was yesterday. I didn't exactly know how to act. Superstar like that. I have... Uh, Ark Wildman's autograph still so I'll have to see if I can get Sean's autograph. And what a beautiful drive it is down to the Soldatna area uh, Cooper Landing. I've never been down there before uh, It was really cool to go down there and uh, Meet him in person and what a beautiful drive it is down to the Soldatna area uh, Cooper Landing. I've never been down there before uh, it was really cool to go down there and uh, meet him in person. It was really cool. Uh, it was raining on us the whole day, drizzling, didn't get heavier, rain. But after we uh, visited with him for a while, and then we went and drove around Sadatna, Kenai. Uh, we learned where the the dip netting was there. Uh, we watched people dip netting in there. And I got a little bit of video. I didn't take too much because it wasn't what I was doing. It was what somebody else was doing. So that wasn't really <clears throat> what I wanted to. I don't want to just film other people doing it. I want to film me doing it. We are planning on maybe have to see if everything works out. Maybe next weekend heading down that direction and uh, doing a little bit of dip netting and see what they were catching yesterday. Maybe uh, they said they were doing pretty good for opening day. It'll probably just get really, really busy now and, and uh, be packed. It wasn't too packed yesterday when we were there, but we're gonna check that out and think about doing that. Not quite sure yet. We'll see how uh, finances and uh, everything works out. Uh, in the background, you're kind of seeing some of my mess, logs that I need to mill up and get done, I'll get that done eventually. But let's get on to the uh, dollar a day prep. Head up that direction. Do this outside just for, it's a lot nicer just to do it outside. So what I did this week, I didn't have a whole lot of money in my pockets for uh, the dollar a day prep. So I got a bag of flour and uh, two uh, packages of macaroni and cheese. So the way this worked out for me this week was, I, I know I didn't do one last week, so this week turns into week 10. Uh, I had 43 cents left over from last week. Roll that into this week, or well, from the previous week, sorry about that, I misspoke. So I had 43 cents left over from the last video I did. 
uh, last week's video seven dollars and then this week's video would be an, an additional seven dollars so uh, fourteen dollars and thirty four cents uh, in my dollar a day prep fund so I just had seven dollars in my pocket so that's what I used and so what I got here I spent six dollars and ninety six cents so I that still leaves me with uh, seven dollars and forty forty seven cents left over to, to carry into next week um, I'm just gonna kind of save that seven dollars that I held off as a side note until I find a really good deal or something that kind of fits into a $14 purchase that I need to that I feel like I need to get so this will just go into the the pile that I'm saving up for my dollar a day preps and just to show everybody what you can do with a dollar a day for one year so for $365 at the end of this you're gonna see just how much food $365 can buy you over a period of time and, uh, I just say start prepping, keep prepping, so that you can be prepared if you ever need it. Me and Sarge are going to get busy. We're going to maybe work on that stump a little bit more today. Uh, he says he just wants to take a nap. He said he had a long day yesterday driving around in a truck all day. And as always, thank you for watching Not So Remote Alaska. May God bless and keep each and every one of you throughout the next week. Everybody have a great day.